I gotta go. I'm coming with you. Come on, it's too dangerous. Sorry, I love you. Don't hate me. Peter! At the beginning of the film, Spider-Man thinks he can have it all. Peter, oh. He thinks he can protect the city. He thinks he can be the hero. He thinks he can have the girl. He thinks everything's gonna be okay. But the world doesn't work like that. The dynamic between Spider-Man and Peter Parker is very interesting. He goes through his own trials and tribulations about the hero that he can be. Need a hand? Gwen's in love with Peter and he's really having a hard time being with her because he's made a promise. You're Spider-Man. I love that. But I love Peter Parker more. Spider-Man's greatest weakness are the people that he loves. Those relationships suffer because of the massive commitment he has to serving his city. This is bigger than you, Peter. Gwen Stacy's storyline in the comics is one of the most famous. I think they had a profound effect on all the comic books that followed. We do flirt with Gwen's fate throughout the movie, and we fool the audience many, many times. Nothing is what I thought it was. <laughs> you wanted to be the hero. Now you gotta pay the price. Spider-Man has one of the greatest rogues galleries in all of comics, the Sinister Six. The Sinister Six are a league of terrifying opponents that Spider-Man has to confront all at once. At the end of this film, we're gonna get a little hint as to what's to come. Let's go catch a spider.